When completing an application, there are instances where we are required to provide our precise age in terms of years, months, and days. However, calculating age accurately in Excel can be a bit challenging when utilizing the date difference between two date values. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to calculate the age and express it in years, months, and days. For the purpose of illustration, let's assume the given birth date is October 9, 2013. To determine the age, we need to know the current date. We can leverage the Excel Today function for this purpose. Typically, age is represented in years between the date of birth and the current date. However, calculating the difference between two date values would yield the number of days, which is an incorrect approach for representing age values. Fortunately, the Excel has dated if function, which is a built-in Excel function that calculates the difference between two dates in various units, such as years, months, or days. However, it's important to note that the dated if function is not documented in Excel's function library and is considered a hidden function. Nevertheless, it is supported by Excel and can be used effectively. The syntax is simple, defined with three mandatory arguments. Start date, end date and the unit. Unit argument specifies the unit of time you want the result to be displayed in. It can be years, months, or days between two date values. Also we can define unit values such as YM, MD, and YD to exclude the years, year and months etc. Let me demonstrate the usage of this function to calculate age based on the given date of birth. Select the date of birth as the start date argument, and the current date as the end date. For the unit, I will specify letter Y within the double quotes. Upon applying the function, if the start and end dates have the same year, the function will return a value of zero indicating that the age is zero. To obtain a valid result, let's change the year to 2022. Now, the function returns a value of one, indicating that the age is one year. To calculate the number of months, I will copy the formula and modify the unit parameter to ym. Note that, selecting ym will return the difference in months, excluding the years. For further granularity, I will use md as the unit argument. This will provide the difference in days, excluding the years and months. It's worth mentioning that the difference between the two date values in years, months, and days dynamically changes as you modify the date of birth. To present the calculated result from the dated if function with relevant strings, I will use the ampersand character to concatenate them. Adding a space character between the string values will enhance the readability of the age. I hope that you have gained a comprehensive understanding of the date diff function through this tutorial. I would appreciate it if you could share your thoughts and feedback on this tutorial. I look forward to your comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day.